morning, good evening, and good afternoon to some. Just going to wait for you guys to come on in. Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon. Good morning, Eddie Dell. I'm doing all right. I went through a little bit of a depression this morning. And, well, last night couldn't sleep. So I stayed up all night doing some other things. But uh, I'm doing better now. I slept. <laughs> I feel refreshed. But other than that, I'm good. <clears throat> Running just a little late today. But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but, you know, life happens. You can't really control it. There's ups and downs in your life, and you really can't control how your heart's going to feel. <laughs> so... So I love ghosts. Can't really control, as I said. Wondering if everybody, wondering if, if and everybody got their notifications. Hello, Miss Cheryl. <clears throat> Hello. don't have a lot to talk about today so it's just going to be a very brief um, live today <clears throat> yeah you learn your lesson the hard way you know? oh I'm I'm a strong girl mama Mama made sure that uh, I was strong. My heart was strong. So every now, every now and again, everybody has their low times. But other than that, we we press on. We press on. So today. We're going to be making some cute little witch hat embellishments. I'm going to be using very simple, very simple um, items today. Very simple. Something that you already have in your craft room. Um, so today we're going to be working with book paper. Some photo paper that we did a while back. Some uh, alcohol ink sprayed photo paper. Hi, Miss Jean. 
we're going to be working with some crack paper. And maybe some, um, some um, painting papers. I had an Emily moment. <laughs> Just working with this a few um, little things. Stuff you've already got in your craft room. So, um, I'm going to be gluing down some book paper to some, um, some stuff you can make tags from. I got a whole box of this chipboard, so I won't be running out anytime soon. Got it for a darn good price, too. And this is stuff that you can use to, like when you're shipping something and you want to keep something separate. You put this down and you can put stuff on top of it. I got a whole box of this stuff. So I won't be running out of tags or anything of that sort. And it's actually pretty thick. And uh, yesterday I was a busy bee. And I did not have any circle punches. I don't have any circle punches. So what I did was is I took this cute little, uh, little thing that some people will recognize. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember what it's called. But it's got one of those pointed ends and a pencil on the end. And I measured out with a ruler and this some circle sizes. And I had a time trying to figure out uh, the circumference of the, the circumference and the diameter of the circles. So I played a protracted, I don't know, but I used this to make me some circles. And let me tell you what, it's not easy trying to figure out how big your circle is just with this. So I had to take, <laughs> take my original me uh, measurement and cut it in half. Say you have a four inch circle, you, uh, or, or you want to make a two inch circle and you want the, the whole thing to be the, the diameter and the circumference of four inches or two inches. You got to measure it out uh, half of what your, what your circle is wanting to be. Say, um, Say you want a, a circle. You've got to measure from the center to the outside of how big you want your circle. And then do your do your drawing. That I learned the hard way. You can't just set it at two inches and draw the circle. No. You gotta cut that measurement in half and then do the drawing. I learned that the hard way. I, I wasted so much. But, you know, I, I did the drawing <laughs> in pencil. And once I actually got the thing right, I drew it out and made my, um, made my template ranging from one inch all the way to five inches. Go me, right? Yay, Miss Creative here. And so I spent the majority of the part last night working on the correct measurements for my circle templates. So, um, I still would love to have uh, some circle punches and variant, variant in sizes, but, hi Miss Rose, but um, I now have a template for circles, so yay, go me. And what I did was is I put them on a binder ring for reference. So whenever I need a certain size, all I gotta do is take the ring, get the circle out, trace it out, and put it back on the ring so I don't lose it. So yeah, I even made some triangles because some people use triangles in all kinds of things. I've got that from an inch and a half all the way up to a three inch, three inch triangle. So yay, go me. So Today, we are going to be using three or four different sizes off our ring for this project. 
we're going to be using, um, like I said, I'm going to be gluing down some paper to make our witch's hat. But um, I need to get some paint. And I don't know where I sent my okay, paint. Oh, there it is. I'm looking right at it. Right over top. So I am going to pull out my jelly plate for a little bit and we're going to play with some paper, make some painty papers real quick. So good thing I've got it sitting right here. Let's see here, I'm going to use the honey bunnies. even play with this for a little bit longer than what I say. You never know. So I gotta get my prayer out. <clears throat> oh I so forgot to clean my prayer so it's kind of leaking there again. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down to the table. And we will play with a little bit of paint. And our jelly plate and some bit paper. How about that? We'll make some painty prints to start while people pop in for this. <coughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down. That's right. It's addictive. Jelly plating is a very addictive. All right. So we're going to start out with some pretty, some pretty cool colors. Y'all should have seen me jelly printing the other night. Lord have mercy. I had paint, black paint all over me in this jelly plate. You can see it's kind of a tinted uh, black. Good morning, Lynn. Come on, come up here. All right, now we'll see what these colors turn out to look like. Now, to add a little bit, I mean just barely, a little bit of black. So we now have our print here. So we're going to go ahead and pull our print. Well, that's not where I wanted to set it, but that's okay. That is okay. Now, these book pages are um, from the spell book that I took the pages out of. So, we're going to have, we're going to be working, we're going to recycle some of these pages into our crafts today. So we have our first print, our first pool. I'm going to set this over here on the floor. As y'all know, my floor is my bed. So we'll, uh, we'll pull some more paint off of here and let's not waste. Waste not, want not. Use every bit of it. Even if it get, even if you pull 
just a little bit of paint. We're going to pull all this paint. It's leaving words on my jelly paint. Scene was an envelope in the mailbox, so and what we'll do is use this page as a cleanup to get all that color off. <clears throat> now we're gonna use the paint that's on the brayer. as a base for this next one. Sometimes you can get some really cool prints with just the waste paint that's on your burger. Don't use too much black. Black will cancel out anything that you put down. All right, and now we got that down. We're going to green out. Right I'm just going to drop a few drops of green just to distribute some bright bluish color. more color here and this is just a blank page here so let's pull the color from it <clears throat> my voice is this this fall weather change is making my my voice very scratchy So what we're doing here, since uh, you all have come in, we are making our backgrounds for our witch hats. Do I read your mind? What are you talking about, woman? Please explain yourself. Explain, please. I've been known to read a couple of people's minds. It's been known to happen. For sure. I was just doing the same thing, but on craft mat, because I don't have a jelly plate. Oh, <laughs> how funny is that? I figure we can play with jelly plate and make a couple of crafts, because the craft that I'm going to be doing today is going to be very short, so I figure we'd have a little bit of different play time today. Plus, these make really cool backgrounds for cards, tags, ATCs, that type of thing. Oh yeah, it is. I haven't even started on mine because I'm waiting for the Christmas uh, magazines the stuff and stuff to start coming out. Because I don't have a lot of Christmassy stuff, so I have to wait. I mean, I've got caboodles of magazines stacked up here. But no, no Christmas yet. I've got my scavenger hunt book ready to start putting stuff in it. However, I don't have the Christmas stuff to, to begin to put in it. But it's so creative. You don't have a deadline, so there's no rush. 
You can be cre as, as creative as you want with it. You're done with yours? Well, you're almost done. See, this pull paint pull off sheet is going to look really neat when I get done. Because look at that, that's going to be another print all together. darker per se. <clears throat> Where is it there? Let's try some really cool color. Hey Vanessa! Let's try some black and red to go a little bit gory. Like I said, ladies, don't use too much black because black will cancel out your colors. It will make them disappear. This is like Freddy Krueger meets Jelly Plate. Yep. Mm -hmm. some Halloween pages for my still book anyway and these would be perfect size because <laughs> guess what these come out of the still book and I can use these as die cuts I mean I don't have a lot of Halloween type of dealios but I have a lot of my printouts I did I ran out every bit of my ink from my ink cartridge yesterday printing from the for the Halloween uh, still book look at that how pretty that is Another one. I have the Wicked Witch on the jelly plate. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I was watching Netflix yesterday as I was uh, doing a lot of this last night, late last night. And I was watching a series on Netflix called Once Upon a Time. And I've been watching that for months now and I finally finished up the uh, the series that it had on Netflix and I they I, when it finished my mouth was sitting wide open I was like really how can Netflix do that why do they leave you at such a cliffhanger you're hoping to God that they they download or they put up the next run of the show I was so I mean literally my mouth I sat there with my mouth hanging open, literally, going, what, what, you know, it was annoying as I'll get out, because I, I, I've been watching that for months, and it left it at such a cliffhanger, and we don't, we've also been watching, uh, another Netflix series called uh, Van Helsing, and it left the series off at a darn cliffhanger. And you never know when they're going to freaking uh, download more 
of that. It was just annoying. Very annoying. I don't know how this is going to work. How this is going to turn out. So we're just going to try it with some fall colors. Maybe do a fall tag later on with the papers. You never know. Crazy looking. Crazy. I took some old leaves from the Dollar Tree, cut them off the little thing, and been pressing the images into the jelly plate lifting them up that way you have a slight imprint of the leaves and the veins just wanted to show you guys how I was playing the other day how some of these images turned out Now let's see what that, that turns out to look like. It's <clears throat> basically using them as a stamp for your jelly plate. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Now, I'm going to go back over it with just a light coat of paint that was left on the brayer and left on the jelly plate. We're going to do another ghost pool. So we have just a bare image of the leaves on there, but just good enough to make like a real pretty background picture. This paint dries so fast. Alright, as you can see I'm not really cleaning the jelly plate. <clears throat> I'm just using the paint that's on there.
It's like a fall blustery day with the wind blowing the leaves around. A little pretty background. You never know what you'll use them for. I just felt like playing. I need to get back to the Halloween time though. <laughs> But November is coming around the corner and we need fall stuff anyway, so why not? After this one, I'll go back to the Halloween -y. Halloween -y colors. Uh, what is the name of my red paint? It's Anita's All-Purpose Acrylic Craft Paint. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. It is called True Red, number 11003. Looks like park on a tree. And that's just pulling the extra paint off the jelly plate. Sometimes it helps keeping that on there. <clears throat> Alright, now let's get back to the monster colors. A lot of paint left on this one's gonna be heavy. Well, it's not technically an ombre, but it's a good. I'm gonna be trying, I'm gonna try and do some of these small painting papers for the auction. That way, you guys can purchase some of these or. You never know. What's the difference between the jewels and the divas? Well, the divas are is a group uh, that Ray and I started, and the jewels basically is the the mother the mother group, the starting group of the divas. Basically, it's where it derived from. There's basically no difference, but there's different challenges and different notifications and things for that group. Jeez, some of this paint stinks, and I usually like the smell of paint. This stuff stinks. It smells like stuff that you've accidentally burnt on the stove. Yuck. Yesterday was a really odd day. You know, it was my son's birthday. Things, odd things just kept happening. <clears throat> I even asked James Lee if there was a full moon or something going on because things just kept going wrong yesterday. Is Mia here? I remind you of Frank. So that's kind of the, uh, the, uh, um, 
the effect I was going for. Frankenstein. Frankenfurter. <laughs> Anybody get that? Frankenfurter? If anybody knows what I'm talking about, I'm going to laugh. Hi, Jenny. Welcome, welcome. Colors are getting darker and darker, but you see how many pulls I'm getting off of all that paint that I just put down. Frankenwing? Well, this is Frankenfurter. Anybody guess what that name is from? Frankenfurter? give you a hint that was not the hint that I needed I did not mean to use brown but that'll work well didn't mean for it to come out that way either it's very runny very very runny This is going to turn into a fall one because I did not mean to do that. That's not the idea I had. Not the idea. But I'll make do with what I got. Even if it makes mud, we will turn it into something. I think it made mud. 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 <laughs> Probably won't look like nothing but a bunch of brown, but I'll make the best of it. And my dog just jumped on something and had a avalanche in the living room for some reason. Yeah, guys, this one made mud because I did not mean to use, to, to use brown. I thought I had a small bottle of black, and I reached for it and put brown instead of black. So it turned into something else. That's okay. We'll use it for something. Can't have flowers without mud. Well, this is plain mud. Looks like a dog went running around in the, in the backyard and cut himself or something. Not very pretty. But I guess it'll work for a fall stuff. And I guess the more paint you pull off, the better that the picture will start looking for that. New place found out now a co-owner of a trailer. New roommate beside my brother is my dad. It was his trailer. He sold it to us, and he will live with us till his death. Oh, I've, I've been reading about that, Jenny. I've been keeping up with you. Oh. I try and keep up with all my duels. Not what I meant to do, but just the light. Ah, neat. I 
going to try and get as much of that paint off the jelly plate as possible. And off the brayer. So, I'm going to pull from the side as well. <clears throat> And roll it onto my see I mean it just turned into straight brown but that's okay it can be used I can cut some leaf prints or something out of that. See, or bark. Use it for a tree. All right, now let's let's try this again, ladies, won't we? Can anybody? I put too much black. See how this turned out. Like I said, ladies, don't put too much black because it'll wear the down. There we go. I fixed it a little bit. Is happy, happy joy joy in here? Yes, she is. I see her. An idea. Oh, let's pick that up from the wrong end. Hey, that works. Put too much black just to pile it to the top. There we go. I fixed it. Anyone got a cup of coffee in there? I wish I had a cup of coffee. It'd be nice. Oh, back to what I was saying earlier. Things were just going wrong yesterday. 
they, really strange things were happening. I burnt supper, had to start all over. I kept knocking things over. The cats and animal, the cats and dogs were acting funny. Well, hang saucer coffee can anyway. Couldn't find Dozer all the way up until it was time to, to close and lock up. He was outside. The weather was acting funny. It was either windy and rainy or was it or it was calm and no wind at all. It was just strange. Oh, Miss Dana's the one that said that. Oh, hello, Miss Dana. I know there's a lot of black in these, but they can be used for my spell book and things like that. So y'all will see a bunch of these. Come back up. All right, it's getting addictive. I've already got a, hot, a stack of papers on the floor. Good thing I got a whole stack of them here. Oh, I did miss you then. My apologies. When I have my phone down, guys, you guys know I can't see diddly squat. Ooh, I like in that one. We'll have to choose which ones we're going to use today because I've made so many pretties. I'm going to have to wrap it up here. Well, the jelly plating soon. And show you what we're playing with today. Look at that. All right, Miss Lynn, have a wonderful day. Uh oh, we riveted it. That shows it was stuck her down. Even with the rip, it turned out pretty. Passive color. Yes, Miss Sadie Dell. You're hollering at me. I see you. You keep retracting your messages. I can't see what you're saying if you do that. Put some gold paint. Um, I don't have a lot of gold left because I used a lot of that for the auction. Let me see if I can round some up. That's what I needed to get.
flop. Well, that's goopy as I'll get out. Come on, get off of there. what it looks like. Oh yeah, very goopy. I'm glad I didn't go very far with, within that. Mm, it turned out real well, but I'll do a black and gold here in a minute. Just wanted to do that. Oh, that pretty. That pretty. Just one squeeze and move it with the card. Gotcha. Let me pull the cleanup print for this. I will do so. Y'all can't see it, but there's no, the metallics making it kind of shimmer a little bit. I'm actually going to clean my hands up a little bit. My hands are looking kind of gross. Oh, your dad's getting you coffee. <laughs> I had to clean my coffee pot last night. It's about to bite the dust, and we make our tea in our coffee pot. And we got to get a new one. But you can't complain. I can't complain because we actually got that coffee maker we have now, and at the Goodwill. while we were out on the road working for the carnival so I can't complain it's it's been a good one can't complain at all hey April one of the big one that makes 12 cups because we need that to make a pitcher of tea so <sighs> let's let that dry a minute yard work done. You can tell whenever they get that darn leaf blower out. It's loud as I'll get out.
spread it all like a cake. But this ain't working too well. I need to get the paint spread out. I may need to start over. James Lee likes to do metallics and steampunk stuff. He likes to use my gold a lot and so my golds and my silvers and my metallic colors and so I'm running out of metallics. So I gotta go to the store and get some more. All right, there you go. Is that what you meant to do? Wow. If your dad's got any extra gears or anything like that, send them my way. I like that kind of stuff. And James Lee loves steampunk stuff. So if you got any gears or anything, send them my way. Oh, that is awesome. So is this what you wanted me to do? No, I've not even started on them. I'm making backgrounds for the moment. Because what I'm about to do is they, they don't take long to do. Not long at all. Hopefully that's what she wanted. And was asking for. Get that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, you're not too late. We're just jelly printing for a minute. Plan. You don't sneak in. I see you. seen you.
trying to check my chat a little bit better today because yesterday I had the angle down so low I couldn't see you. Anybody working on anything while they're watching and listening? Any crafts going on? What are you working on? You're working on craft fair projects? There's a fall festival going on up here. Um, and I didn't, I don't think I can get in in enough time. Because I've already scheduled it, but I don't know how much it costs to even set up a booth or anything. This is going to be the last one. I'll clean it and we'll get the crafty do started. We're right now at an hour. So. Alright, now clean up. We made some pretty prints that we can play with. I'm raising my hand for the coffee. Send it this way. Extra cream and sugar, please. Y'all hear that? That's annoying. Alright guys, this is a step and clean up. Black paint. 
paint over everything that I touch. All right, now. Kinds of jelly print plates in the floor. Pick up. nice stack of painting papers that we can play with. And I'm kind of liking going gearing towards my Frankenstein paper. Because I kind of like it. Won't get much out of it. think your dad needs new batteries put in he keeps falling asleep <laughs> there we are the frank and the people we'll use that first now well the cool part about this is, is you don't need much to do this what you need is the circle punches or your die cut that I have seeming to have misplaced. Where in the heck I put it? I don't know. Oh, y'all, y'all, did y'all see where I put that? Mm. Oh, there it is. All right. Now, let's get all this paint off the desk because I need the room. First, we're going to be making this little hat right here. Good morning, Skylar. You're just now. We were doing some backgrounds uh, for our little witch hats that we were going to make today. I'm hoping to make two different kinds, but if we only make one, it's, it'll be worth it. What in the world? Huh. Anyway. We're going to be making these cute little witch hats. And I have backed them on some chipboard, so they're they're more sturdy, and you can make them into, um, like, little pins or something. But, as I said, they're on little chipboard pieces. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this. We are going to perfectly, perfect match, cool things. We are going to glue this down to the chipboard. Some tacky glue. Spread 
this out. Or spread this glue out. That way it's not so thick on the back. Sorry, I just got so quiet, guys. Y'all know me. When the head is down, I don't see nothing, and I get into craft. I get into crafting. All right, now I'm going to glue this down. I may have to run my heat gun. You know what? I'm gonna put this down like this. I'll put this down like this. That way I don't guess where it's going. I know. these scraps when I make my scrap tags and, and embellishments for the auctions since everybody seems to love those Lizzie loves those so I save every little bit of something that has that I use that has color on it and it comes in handy for the, the tags and the ATC pieces that I do I stick them there all right so now we have our board that we're going to use. Now, to avoid marks, I am going to draw on the back side. Now, depending on what size you want your witch hat, like this, or if you want them bigger, just depends on the circle that you use. So I am going to go with, let's see, um, I'm going to go with a three and a half. <clears throat> and so I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw on the back side of this and saving as much of this as I can. I'm going to do my circle. So there we have our circle. We're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut out this circle. And 
So now we have our perfect little circle here. Voila. All right, we're going to put this to the side. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, you don't have to be perfect and precise, but, you know, the the perfectionist in here. We do have perfectionists. I am kind of a semi-perfectionist, but this time I'm not going to be. I'm not going to do it. We're going to cut this in half. Okay, so, you know, I have two sides. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut one of these in half down the center. Doesn't have to be perfect. And so now you have two little equal pieces. Now, with that next piece, we're going to cut it into fours like a pie. So we're going to cut it in half. We're going to cut it in half again. like that. You can either choose to make one solid witch hat or you can make two witch hats. Oh, I know. I, I, I don't have a real sharpening block for my scissors, but these are Fiskars. Fiskars don't get dull very easily. I've got two pair of Fiskars in here that James Lee found for me. Got one with the, the things on the inside, and then I've got another set right here without the inside. So I've got two sets of Fiskars, which are really good scissors. Love to have a pair of those Tim Holtz. Yep. I'm going to have to turn my glue gun on. I'm, I didn't turn it on. My dog is going nuts back there. He's going nuts in the, the lawnmower. Alright. Now what you're going to do is just, as you can see, you're going to glue together the bottom and the top which gives you a really cute witch hat appearance. So, you're going to take the two pieces and you're going to glue them right here. So that gives you this really cute witch hat. Voila. Isn't that cool? And so we can embellish it or you can leave it like this. Or you can put two together. And give it a front to back appearance. But I think we're going to make two different ones. You're going to have two extras, so you'll have to cut you another circle out. But eat. Every time you do it, you'll have a, a cute little insert or something that you can use these for. Or you can make some extras. Just got to wait for the glue gun to heat up because this is chipboard and it'd take a minute for the glue to, to warm up. You know what? So. My dog is going eight minutes. I might try it and see what happens. Hang on a minute, guys. It will not hush. Hang on. Oh, 
laying on the bed, barking his head off. And I come in the door, his, ear, his ears go down and his head go down. Like, Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bark. So, we have our little witch hat. Cute in this. Now we're going to wait for that to set up. You can do whatever you want with these. You can put a safety, or not safety pin, darn it. A, um, I'll show you. It's better to show you than. I have to sit here and try and get it out and make me look like a silly one. A paper clip. Put it on a paper clip. Make it a cute little embellishment. Like that. Or you can put a little pin, a little clip on the back and clip it to your journal or a something or other. Um, let's see, there's other ways that you can attach this. You can poke a hole in the top and make it a cute little, a cute little ornament. Hey Sharon! So, we now have made a cute little witch hat embellishments. So, let's see. Since we're not going to use much, I'm going to just cut a strip of this off. We are going to make a cute little brim for the hat. You're going to also find a sticky little gem to put on this cute little hat here. It's, and since it's not very big, I'm not going to put a big gem on there. It's a cute little square gem. Cute, cute, cute. And that's 
all out of paint, paper, chipboard, and one small jewel and a little bit of glue. Isn't that cute? And you can embellish them however you want to. on here. I don't know. Everybody's being real quiet. They're either watching intently or they're working on something or they fell asleep. I have a bad habit of putting people asleep. Bad. it as a cute little tag embellishment for your journals. Uh oh, the jewel moved. Can't do that. You've got to stay put. So there you go. Cute, 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 cute. And see. Your dog got hurt at the groomers. What that? What happened?
kind of the over 30 plus years that my dog my mom's been a dog groomer no dog has ever been hurt at the groomers at her at her shop ever They nicked his eyelid with the clippers because he moved. He got infested with fleas from a dog I set. A dog set. Oh. That's not good. Okay, let's let this sit for a minute and let it set up. There you go. Excuse the glue. It kind of came out in the kind of heavy, but it'll dry. What do you guys think of my cute little craft here? We have two different types that you can do. Well, we're about to make another one if we can if I can pull it off because this one I had a hard time last night my prototype kind of kept getting messed up I had to, had to keep adjusting it so it, it'll either work out or it won't all right so let's put these to the side though mm -hmm. all right now Let's put some of this stuff back. I'll decorate these later. These are gonna go in the go in the auction. You grab some apple tea. Mm, that sounds good. All right. Now. This is a trial and error type. Another, this is another witch hat, but it's a trial and error. I've already cut out the big size, but the little size is, I've already got the measurements and I can actually measure those. So this is what we'll be making right here cute little witch hat. Another one using a clothespin, a circle die, and some triangles. But we're going to be making a large scale. That way you can see what we're working with. Now, you are going to need a three inch triangle, two of them, You're also going to need a, what is it? Um, four and a half inch circle with the circle cut out in the center. Just depending on your, your triangles that you're using. Try, the circle's a little off because when I cut it, I didn't cut it centered. But you all get you you will get the drift. But I'm going to be cutting these again, so um, let's get our four and a half inch circle cut. And one and seven eighths inch circle all right now let's see let's choose us a a red piece here and 
now we're going to draw on the back side of this piece here. Or you can use your cutter, whatever you, if you have one this big. If not, draw you out one. This is about the size of a CD, I'm guessing. About the size of a CD that you put in your CD drive. Okay, now I'm going to cut this out. You can use craft paper or scrapbook paper if you want to do this for cardstock. And I'm using this. You can use whatever you want. So you now have your circle. Now, if you want to fold this in half, kind of center up where you want this. And I'm going to draw half of that because we're just going to cut it from there. So we're going to cut the center. All right, Miss Jenny, come catch the replay. And we're going to cut the center out of that very carefully. Set that to the side. I don't think we're going to need that no more. I don't think that was centered again, but still. So you now have what you what I call a donut. Now we're going to set that to the side as well. We're going to take our triangles. As I said, these are three inch triangles. You're going to need two of them. So I'm going to take put my circles back. find our three inch triangle here. Now we're going to cut two of those out. I put arrows for the top, that way I know which way is up because a lot of triangles, you want them to go a certain direction. Sometimes they're not as big on one side as the other. Triangles are kind of fickle that way. All right, now we've got that all cut out. So now we have the two triangles. And your donut. And your donut. Now, your next thing you're going to need is a clothespin. 
my good old clothespin. Now, what you're going to do is that your next thing you're going to do is you're going to glue on your triangles to your base of your of your clothespin. Like that. Okay, and glue it to the side where you pinch. Now, once that's glued on, what you're going to do is you're going to take your donut and you're going to slide it over top. If this works. Now, slide your triangles before you glue them down, down to where it looks like this. See how close they are to the top? Right here. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to slide that donut all the way to the pinched, to the edge of this right here. Okay? And so in the end result, you will have this cute witch's hat all glued down. You're not going to cut anything. This is what it will look like right here. And so now, now that you see what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing these down. Okay, now we have our, our thing here. You can also make a Christmas tree out of this same thing. Just make a square and put it down here. And make a little Christmas tree for Christmas time. We might do that later in Christmas time. Now, we want to take this and fold it over. Kind of work it back, work itself back down. We're going to glue this down. Thank you, Mary. Now, your finished product is now a cute little witch hat. Now you can embellish it or you can leave it just like that. But we're going to put some really neat stuff on it. I am actually going to use some of these little paint things that I got off my paint while we were jelly painting. Make it look like a rose. And we will put a little gem on the inside. 
it. To make it look pretty cool. We got a green one left. Let's see some more of this cute little zigzag. I'm going to put that right here. finish off our cute little hat. All right, Miss Mia. Work with what you got. This was a little thing I got off my paint. You know, Stacy keeps these. Well, this is a really good idea. Makes it look like a cute little purple rose. And we put a cute little band on the witch's hat. And so therefore you have this really cute witch's hat. I still have my witch's hat I made last year. Hanging up on my bulletin board. Alright, where's my top to that? Oh, right there. Good. So now we have, let's see. Let's see if I can hold up a piece make it look like a bed. Oh, wait a minute. No, I got a bed. I can show you this. Okay. So, use a little treat bag. It's in Halloween form. So, you want to close it off. Just fold it over. Fold it over. And use it as a closure. Now, if you really wanted to get fancy with it, take you a doily, if I can find one. Where are you? Hmm. Do I have a scrap doily over here? I really keep one sitting fairly close. Fairly close. Oh, but this will work. It's a piece of a piece of lace that I cut. But just consider that a doily. Just pretend that that's a doily. Put that down. Put that down. And fit that underneath the flat there. And you can even do a shabby chic witch hat. And it makes it look like it's got a cute little something or other underneath it. Just pretend that's a, that's a doily, guys. Use your imaginations. You can do like a pink witch hat. And give it a little bit of shabby chic. Or you can use piece of your creepy cloth from the Dollar Tree let's see if I can get it without it unwinding it Oh, 
get a piece of your creepy cloth. And cut it. Drape it over your bag. Give it a little bit of a tug and to even it out. And pin it on. And so now, well, I get it fixed. So now, you have this cute little addition to your bag, which gives it a creepy appearance. So what do you guys think? Huh? Cute little bag closure for kids' parties or uh, treat bags for Halloween. This would be a cute little idea. have the, the big one done we are going to attempt I'm not going to say it's going to be the best we're going to it we're going to attempt this little tiny one right here made the same exact way but it's going to be a mini a little bitty mini all right now the measurements are up to you however big you want to use me however I've not figured out the total, the total measurements on it. It was just a prototype that I was playing with last night. I do know that the circle is an inch and a half. I did label that, but the triangles, yeah, that was that's a different story. Um, let's see. Am I gonna get one out of this? I might. I might. Let's cut out the little the circle. Right, so we have our circle. Now I'm going to measure this real quick. Let's see how many inches it is. So I need them about inch and a well, less than an inch and a half. Okay, now I'm going to show you a trick on how to make the perfect triangle. Now, you want to measure how, however long you want your triangle. Because I can't see what I'm doing here. Alright. You want to draw your line. Now you want to take half of your line that you just drew, cut it in half, and mark it. Now Measure the di the length in the same the same length up as you did across. Mark it at three points, so three dots on the bottom and then one at the top at the same height of the length that you want that you drew down at the bottom, like that. So that's three dots on the bottom, the length, and then cut the Cut it in half and go up the same length as the line at the bottom. Now, what you want to do is play connect the dots. Now, 
and get the same length every time. Now, we click connect the dots and we now have our triangle. So we're going to cut that out. I'm going to trace that one. I like to use just about every part of my paper when I do something with it. Even when I die cut, I do the same thing. I use every bit of it, or most of it. And when I don't use, I put it in my scrap box and I pull them out to do my scrap tags. Alright, so now we have all of our pieces cut. Simple as pie. Or so you'd think. Forgot to mark them up or down. Goodness. Oh, not perfect. But you have your two triangles. Now let's measure over how far I need to cut these. Now I fold that in half. We may get it wrong, but you know, it'll, it's something. Working with minis, you gotta have a, you gotta have a steady hand and patience. Are you going to cut just barely the inside? Not going to be a perfect, not going to be perfect at all. Like I said, I'm not perfect. This is just tiny, but we have our donut. Now let's check to see if we got this right. Like I said, I had a hard time with this last night because the prototype was so small. Let's make sure. Mm, we basically got it. Yeah. So we got it. I just got to glue it on. Alright, now let's do this again. Keep it in my 
Now we're going to put on the cap, bring it all the way down to the bottom again. And glue it. Hey Kennedy, we're going to be wrapping it up here shortly. We are about done with the craft for today. I'll have to come back and watch the replay, darling. All right, so now we have our tiny witch's hat. Our tiny, tiny, tiny witch's hat. And again, you can either put it on a little bag here, or you can put it on on an ATC, or a, I'm just going to pin it on to uh, what we made yesterday just to show you the size. Cute little embellishment for one of your tags or APCs. So what do you guys think? Do y'all like this cute little, these cute little witches hats today? I think they're adorable. <clears throat> We're not lie. Cute, 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 cute. Now we're going to glue on our little rhinestone to make it look pretty. If I can get it out. Miss Kennedy, thank you for coming in, darling. I was a little late today, anyhow. So, yeah, from start to finish, our little witches' hats embellishments. And as I said, you don't have to be witchy with it. You don't have to be witchy with it. You can go shabby chic on me. So we have made four different types of embellishments. So we have the micro mini. We have the, the regular embellishment. We have the pull tab 
witch's hat that we made from painty papers. Well, most of, but all of this was made from painty papers. And then we have the the paper clip. I mean, it's nothing fancy on the back. We have the paper clip that you could put in a journal or an add, add it to something really cute or a treat bag as well. So yeah, we made four different types today. I showed you from start to finish on how to do that. So, thank you, Cheryl. Um, I'm going to be making some more of these for the auction, but not many, because they are a pain in the butt to make. They're very tedious, so if you plan on making these, be prepared to have extra paper and be uh, experimenting with uh, with sizes, because I had to. You should see all the scraps that I that I have sitting here, like this right here. I have all kinds of pieces that I was experimenting with last night. I mean, it took me a while. Literally, I had I have pieces sitting everywhere from where I tried this. So this is not one of those projects that well I'm going to make on the fly. No, this one was planned. I had to make sure it would work. I always make prototypes, so I knew I was going to do some jelly plating because this you have to cover up. You have to you have to do something with it. But um, if you feel froggy, you can decorate the rim of this or the brim of your hat. You can even do a double-sided whenever you jelly plate. You can do double-sided. That way you don't see the printing on the inside here. Or you can line it with construction paper or craft paper of your choice. I mean, it does not have to be technically exactly like this. You can make it your own. You can make it your own. And you can even tweak the shape of the hat. I mean, you can even make it go up and then, you know how the hangover, you can do it like that. I mean, this is just the basic, basic hat. It's basic, basic, basic. Not your normal average, average, everyday, everyday embellishment. But anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the show today. If you did, please hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed and you are not a subscriber. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit the hay out of here, and I will see you guys on my next stream. Don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. Just depends. Um, so, guys, I love you all, and I want to thank you for coming in and crafting with me. Hopefully, I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and craft and share your artwork. Also, if you are not a part of the Creative Jewels by Emily Facebook group, please go on and check us out. I have a business group and I have a um, uh, site or group group for everybody. Um, so if you're interested, please go and hit a friend request and check out the business site. I have all kinds of pictures in there for you guys to look at. So, um, and if you're interested, please message me and I will, uh, if you're interested in an item, uh, that can be made by hand and especially for you, please, uh, don't hesitate to send me a text or a message on Facebook and I will get back to you as soon as possible and I will quote you a price. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't have an Etsy or a, any other type of store. But I do, I do uh, have a business site that uh, if you have any questions or if you want to buy something, please let me know. Um, trying to get myself out there and uh, get my products out there, but I don't want to pay all that money for an Etsy. So I'm trying to get the products out there and I want to make sure that you're happy and you are satisfied with your product. So ladies, don't forget that I'm going to be having an auction on the 30th of October so please save your pennies times nickel quarters and dollars because you know you want to uh, you know you want to uh, you want to get in there and, and, and purchase stuff you can ask some of the other people that have purchased in here if you have not how wonderful the products are here so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for sitting here and crafting with me today and as I said I hope that I inspired you get out there and share your artwork Share it in the group. We want to see it. 
don't don't th don't think that your artwork's not good enough because it is. You uh, what you might think is garbage is somebody's most beautiful piece in the whole world that they can't live without. You know, you know that type of thing. Somebody's garbage is another person's treasure. So, ladies and gentlemen, love each and every one and each other. Please be nice and care about each and every one. Give that uh, give that special person next to you a great big old hug because you never know the next time you'll see them. Tell them that you love them. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get the hay out of here. As I said, I know I said that a minute ago, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I love, each, I love each and every one of you, so I will see you guys on my next broadcast, and I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.